All right, what's up guys? We're back with another lesson. Um, this lesson we're focusing on animation style. So um, animation style is a really dope style that um, I fell in love with a long time ago. A lot of people don't know this, but when I first started popping, I was mostly doing animation style. Um, when I started in the late uh, mid 90s, like 96, 97, um, exposure to the overall funk and popping scene on the West Coast was very limited. Um, we were actually were exposed through b-boy videos. So videos like from Rocksteady Crew, um, Radiotron, um, and so forth. We had videos that we were studying of, uh, you know, Flat Top, um, uh, Mr. Re, uh, Mr. Animation, Bop and Andre, and these guys. And so we were very, uh, you know, also Breaking, if you watch Boogaloo Shrimp, who's an animator, and so forth. So animation style has just always been there. Um, it's, and today, uh, you know, uh, it gets very confused on what animation style is. A lot of people think it's just, oh, robot. If I'm doing robot, I'm doing animation. Or bopping style. It's not. Actually, animation is um, its own thing. What's the purpose of it? The purpose of animation is to look unreal. And you're imitating a character. So what a lot of people forget is that they start dancing and they say they're doing animation style, but you're just dancing and there's no character to it. So really, what, what the original way was, is that these OGs were, they were imitating the Cyclops, you know, coming forward. If you watch Taco do it. And you don't have to, the audience or who you're battling doesn't have to know that, oh, I'm the skeleton with the sword, or the shield. They don't have to know that that's what it is, but it's giving you, this is where it comes into almost like acting or theater, or character, performance, is that your mind has, what's my motivation? What's my, what's my goal? What am, I, what am I staying focused on? So you're staying focused on becoming this character with a sword. So that means I'm holding the sword, da, 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 the shield blocking, looking around. So you have to become this character in your mind. And it's more than an issue of just making it smooth. There's an issue of timing where uh, there'll be a movement and then a pause, yeah. then again another movement, and then things moving at different rates. The arm might move slower or faster than the legs. Well, the pauses are the most difficult because you can't just have them stop. You have to have just a slight movement so that it doesn't look like a dead puppet. <laughs> dope is that back then we got two different flavors of animation. So we had that pure version from Boogaloo Shrimp via Bop and Andre via the OG from the Bay, which was just the Sinbadding and character. And since Pop and Taco was a popper, he added the pops to it, which Bop and Andre and Boogaloo Shrimp were not doing because Pop and Taco just, he was using the technique he was good at to, use, to do the animation. So I think that's very interesting to me. So as you're studying the style, know that there's kind of a couple different flavors of animation. There's like the muscle control pop version, and then there's the very subtle version. Um, in my opinion, I think the style is meant for theater. So I've actually been specializing in animation for the last seven or eight years that I've spent working in the theater. I played a robot with um, the Illuminate show, and we had to animate that, that robot and we had to animate it in a way that it's not just a robot. It was like a toy robot. So it like, kind of like had this fun, like the way it would move and try to be cute for the, you know, the kids in the audience, which is, um, I took the direct inspiration from Pop and Taco and Boogaloo Shrimp and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. They played robots and super dope. Also, there's the Urkel bot who he played. So this, this is an animated character that's like, he's a robot. But he's trying to look unreal. It's not just that robot style. It's not dance. It's like he's acting out a skit and doing things and looking animated. So in my theater experience, I was able to, to uh, dive in with that. And currently now I'm working at uh, the Michael Jackson One Show playing a character that 
animation style is helping me so much bring to life on stage. Um, the character is called a tabloid junkie, and I'm half human, half machine. So a lot of times I'm moving like a robot, and there's all these flashes going off around me on these cameras that I'm a, I'm a paparazzi that's half cyborg, you know, basically. And these flashes have the timing that I use to Sinbad and and we're, our focus is that we're paparazzi, so we're chasing people around and taking pictures of them. So I have this intent. So Carol. What's up guys, so brought you in with me to the theater today because um, we're working on animation style. And like I said, it's, it's, for me the style is very important to uh, imagine the theatrical um, opportunities you get within the style. So um, I'm doing some solos where I'm just in regular dance clothes and I'm using animation um, techniques with my dancing. Um, but in the theater we use animation style just to bring characters to life. And sometimes we're not even dancing, it's just we're just moving with illusion. Um, and the costume is a big part of it, the lighting's a big part of it. Um, so, um, a few of the characters I was able to imagine and create, one of them was uh, these crabs. And basically we created these crabs for a, a circus lake project called One Drop. And um, I had to think about how they would look, how they would move, um, and using animation, using animated effects, because crabs move differently than humans. So you're animating your body to look like something else. Um, another project I did was um, for Cirque as well was uh, I wanted to create these nightmarish demons that are um, controlling this woman that's uh, writing, writing hateful things online on her computer. And uh, again, I was just using animation techniques in the choreography and once I put the costumes on them and they looked very sinister, it just made the characters come that much more to, uh, alive, you know. So these styles are really awesome if you're looking to work professionally as a dancer. Um, you can definitely develop characters or do performances locally and things like that and, and, and really get a lot out of the style.